Hello everyone, it's Crochet by Beb. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated for my new upcoming videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make clusters, loop, stitch. And here I will be using a cotton yarn, 5mm hook, yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. This stitch is a multiple chain of 6 plus 2, so basically it's 6, 12, 18, and so on, then plus 2. So I'm going to start chaining 26, so that is 24 plus 2. So first we're going to make a slip knot. I'm going to chain 26. Okay, now I'm going to make single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two. So I'm gonna make single crochet here. So this is our row one. Then continue single crochets into the remaining chains. When you are done your single crochets, now we're going to proceed for our row 2. So first we're going to chain 1. This is only our turning chain. Then turn your work. First we're going to put single crochets into the first stitch. Then chain 3. We're going to skip two, one, two, and into the third stitch, we're going to make a cluster. So yarn over, insert into that third stitch. So pull up a loop in height a bit like that, and then throw it at two loops. So you have two loops on the hook. So on a, two more, so yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Then we're going to draw in the two loops. We had three, so one more yarn over, insert into the hook, pull up a loop, and yarn over into the two loops. So now we have four loops on the hook, so we're going to draw through all that four loops. So this is our cluster, and now we're going to chain three. And we're going to skip two and then into the third stitch we're going to make single crochet okay so we're going to repeat this so chain three skip two cluster into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over in the two loops so two more yarn over insert we have three now we have four so we're going to draw all that four loops and chain three skip two then single crochets into the next stitch okay then chain three again Skip two, then cluster again here. So yarn over into the two loops, yarn over. Okay, so we have three loops on the hook. So now we have four loops on the hook, and we're going to draw all that four loops and then chain three again. And skip two then single crochet then chain three skip two then we're going to make cluster again here
four loops okay then chain three skip two then single crochet here okay now for our row three so first we're going to chain six So this chain six, the chain three is for double crochet and the chain three is for chain three space. Okay, then we're going to turn our work. Then single crochet on top of the cluster. Then chain three. Double crochet on top of the single crochet. Chain 3. On top of the cluster, single crochet. Then repeat this pattern until into the end. Okay, now you're done your row three so for row four we're going to chain one then turn work single crochet on top of the double crochet so this is in the first stitch single crochet here then chain three then on top of this single crochet we're going to make the cluster okay yarn over insert into that single crochet Okay, four loops and draw all that four loops then chain three single crochet here on top of the double crochet and we're going to repeat this until into the last stitch chain three on top of the this single crochet cluster Okay. Then chain three, single crochet on top of the double crochet. Then here into the six chains into the third chain we're going to put single crochet so you just keep repeating row three and four for the pattern so here you're going to chain six then turn again and then repeat three and four row for the pattern so when you're done here row two three and four we're going to chain six so chain three four double crochets and chain three four chain three space okay and turn work then repeat rows three and four for your pattern just keep repeating rows three and four and then you're gonna get this look of your pattern so it's very easy it's only repeating row three and four and yes you can use this for your lazy vest or any lazy project you're going to make 
and thank you so much for joining me making this stitch and hope to see you again on my next video and happy crochet everyone bye bye